Hey, it's Tom Abuthnot, last day of the uh, floor for Microsoft Ignite, and I'm here with Matt Landis. Matt, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, Matt Landis. I'm the managing owner of Landis Technologies and follow all things teams. So, yeah. And you're my go to guy whenever I have like a API question. So, we thought we'd do two minutes on kind of where the contact center and general API stories with Microsoft Teams. So can you take us through, I think you've got a slide on what's going on here. Yeah, well and maybe I'll just quickly, first of all, just give uh, the announcements that are here at Microsoft Ignite. So um, a couple things that were announced, one of them is the, the Presence API is uh, was announced, it's gonna be in the next couple weeks. Um, so Presence API, it's it's not everything we want, but it's a start, it's, uh, it's not subscription based, it's you gotta pull it but at least we're getting presence from Teams um, at the same time that Teams presence is actually starting to be pretty reliable. So and that says that service side as opposed to client side, so you can hit something and get anybody's presence. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is not a client API. It is a yeah. It's kind of a server API. Yep. And you said it's not it's not pushed, so you have to pull that to get the latest information. Yeah. It's it's not a subscription where it's not super ideal when you have a whole bunch of contacts on the screen it's more maybe think more like you have a queue and you need to know which agents are where they're at um, that's maybe not the only scenario but it's it's point in time for yeah you. yeah exactly so we have the presence um, someone in Andy Bybee's session asked when the uh, calling and meeting API's will be GA um, I know things privately but I'll say what he said publicly which is they're coming soon and he would not give any more granularity to that but coming soon and it seems to me there's a third thing yes um, there's a there's a first party app called consults that um, was down at the teams and what it lets you do what consults lets you do is schedule a meeting that an anonymous user can join from outside so you schedule it and it makes a nice way for them to join kind of a kind of a, an anonymous join by a web user and it sounds like they're giving some APIs to make the meeting um, and, and, and interact with that consults kind of functionality. So, oh, so that, that's interesting. So we have a use case where we do something for a healthcare customer where like doctors and patients and translators can join on a web-based presence. So it sounds like there might be a, a first party or an API driven way to do that kind of thing then. So, they, so one, one piece is they have kind of a, an app that does it. It's called consults, first party app. I think you can get it right now or either soon. Um, or they're giving, it sounds like Andy was saying that they're giving some APIs to schedule the meeting and there was something else but I can't think of it right off the top of my head. Yeah. And so this, the stuff that's coming soon, that unlocks some potential for some of the products you guys do? Yeah, so GA, so that, that's a, it's, it's, it's a nuanced answer. A lot of people think once the calling and meeting APIs are GA, that means like, wow, we can do everything. It's not quite that simple. It's more, um, think about GA as probably you'll get what we currently have, but now you have an SLA on it. Yeah. I'm gonna say, think like that. You know, Microsoft didn't make their announcements, but that's, that's. So, so, so imagine I'm not as into it as you are. What, what have we got now? What can I do? Like people talk about contact centers being blocked at the moment. What can I do with the current APIs that are not GA? Yeah, so currently you can receive calls incoming with a DID. Um, so we're doing things, uh, so we're kind of shifting off on what we're doing, but yep. you know, you can do a queue, um, there's, there's, uh, you can do queues, you can do um, the ability to pull in a bot and record. Yep. Um, you can do a lot of things, and maybe the easier way to say is what you can't do. Right. That might be the easier way, and we'll switch to this slide to do it that way. So cool. you can do a lot of things, and yeah. so the way we're thinking about it, you know, we're bringing a lot of functionality, um, and we're saying, you know, at the moment, it's not production because Microsoft doesn't have an SLA. Yeah. So the day they go GA, then we can go GA and people can use it in production, right? We're preview right now for our customers. And so what are the kinds of things, you know, we're kind of waiting yet. So we're not sure if we're going to get presence. Or we're going to get calling APIs in GA first. So once we get presence, yeah. obviously we can do presence Pre routing. Presence routing yeah. um, so a next, another thing is currently we can do call transfer, but it's kind of awkward. You, it kind of, it's kind of like a meeting where you invite the user in, and then once they're in, then you can drop off. Right. So it's awkward, and I'm not going to even, I'm, I'm not going to make any bones. It's not nice. Okay. So we, I don't even think we have it on here, but you know, internally we kind of call it not nice transfer. You <laughs> yes. know, you, you can do it, but so once we can eject a user in multi-party, 
then we can do an improved transfer. It makes it a little handier to do this whole thing. So you're kind of taking control of the MCU at that point and saying this yeah. person leave, this person Yeah, joins. you invite the one person and eject the other one yeah. and kind of do it automatically. So what's another piece? Currently, a Skype for Business user cannot be an agent. Um, we would like to see that. Right. Um, and so once the API supports, and, and it's, it's a little awkward because, I mean, you have to know who your agents are and they have to be Teams users for a Teams native at the moment. Yeah. Um, so at the moment, no as, you know, Skype for Business users as agents. Um, I kind of expect it. I mean, I can't promise anything, but I kind of expect yeah, that. Yeah. Just, just to make the migration. Yeah, if nothing else during transition, you don't want to do a day one cut of everybody potentially. Yeah, yep. So what do we have here? Okay, so another thing, currently it's call in, but not call out. So, you know, if you want to do a callback, automatic callback, um, that is not in the API yet. Right. So calling outwards. Yeah, so um, I'm in a queue, press one to be rung back when you get to the front, that kind of stuff. Exactly, so we're actually adding in the ability to notify an agent when someone wants to be called back. So if, for example, if they're in a queue and they say, call me back in the order, what we have to do is we make a note, give a toast, let them know that, and then they just kind of call them back. Yeah, yeah, so it's not ideal, but it's a way to get something. Yeah. Um, and so then the last thing, like kind of a full transfer experience where we can move a user from a multi-party. So, yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Well, I think that gives us a really good overview.